<laughs> this is his topic. Yo, what uh, up? This your boy DJ Two Fifty in the building with my man Da, my man Dre, and this is the Kings Building Kings Podcast. All right, so this topic is Father's Day, and how do you feel your child would rate you as a parent? I posted it on Facebook because I had a look. My son had kind of had me a little tight one day. So, you know, I had said something about it on Facebook and, and a few parents actually asked their children how do they rate them. And this is this is something that parents don't never really ask their kids, especially that a lot of our children are millennials and they, they grew up in a different time. They don't really care about the struggles that we grew up in. Like this kid the other day was like, how much you made when your first job? Like three eighty five, and they're making 14 dollars an hour. So I want to ask you guys to ask your children how would they rate you. Let me ask you and you, how do you think your kids would rate you as a whole, as a father? You want me to go first? Yeah. It's funny because you're going to say how you think they would rate you, and then you ask them, they might give you No, no, nah, nah, you know what? I, I don't know. Um, here's what I would say. I got five children. Okay. All right? So my son told me that he used to go to school and say, my dad's my hero. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Totally fucked me up. Yeah. Like, you, oh shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, what did the what did the cry right yeah. there, son? Yeah. Um, my one of my daughters might have something different to say, mm. and so it all depends on the kid and, and how they were. Yeah, raised. you know, and also it, it's a situation where I am a big believer in DNA, and I'm a big believer in circumstance. So, in other words. You pass on DNA to your children, but you also pass on where you was at at that particular time to your children. So your oldest child, you may have been at this level of knowledge, wisdom and understanding, and then your youngest child, you may be here. If you, like you, you, you my friend on Facebook, you've seen my youngest daughter talk. She's a genius. You know what I'm saying? She got the benefit of all those years of struggle, hard work, and, and books read. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I'd be saying, how do you know that word? You know? Now, mind you, my oldest daughter was the do- the child that my ex was most disciplined with. Read the Quran while she was in her womb, mm-hmm. made sure she stayed away from music, TV, all of that stuff. She didn't follow that with the other two, per se, mm-hmm. but she was very disciplined with her. And so, um, you know, there's levels of different levels of development. So to me, I think it, it comes with having just a really thin skin, or is it thick skin, allows you to take take criticism and stuff like that one of them yeah whichever it 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 is you kind of but at the same time even listening to them rate you as a father you still got to know who you are as a man Mm -hmm. you still got to know what you did what your thinking process was behind what you did and was you solid in all those situations Mm -hmm. and to me i have done a lot of dirt over these years Mm -hmm. but i've done a lot more good than dirt and i know where i was at at every level when dealing with my exes and their children and no matter what my children say I kind of know now would they adjust kind of my behavior and how I dealt with them sure because I made a lot of mistakes with my oldest daughter that I corrected with my middle daughter and then I'm going to correct with my younger too you know what I'm saying so it's a situation where you can listen but don't get depressed at what you hear because you know yeah sometimes you... they just talk crazy exactly like you're like yo what what fault like what like, like with me per se, like my daughter, like sometimes people say, yo, you and your daughter have such a great relationship. And it's one of those things, like my daughter's really, like daughters are really controlling. So even like when they're young, you know, they're going to compare, they're going to look at your relationship with your son and, oh, I feel like you're tighter with Sean and she played basketball because she wanted to get closer. So she actually taught me a lot about like relationships in general because she put work in as a daughter. Mm-hmm. So I mean, as a parent, a lot of the times your children actually teach you and you're supposed to be the parent. Even when I was a teacher, like I learned a lot from my students as well. And you know, my son, <laughs> so like I said, he's a whole different story. And and a lot of the times, like you say, your, your children are a lot like you. So like my mother always said, I was a lot like her. So it's one of those things when you're two alike, it's almost like mm-hmm. talking to the the mirror and like my son is way more laid back than me, so I'll be ready to like put his head through sheetrock <laughs> because it's just like 
he's just too lax about stuff. Like I'm, re you think I'm relaxed? This dude is like, the whole world could just be caving. He's like, yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> Where's like y'all be, really, you know, you, you get me super tight. And, and that, that's, and you asked your son, how would uh, he rate you? Yeah. Oh, you a lazy father. You don't. You yo. He said you a lazy father, but didn't really have nothing to really back it up. Like me moving 200 miles and coming up here to raise you, stopping my career down there of what I was doing to come to a place that I've never been before. How old is he though? 22. Oh, oh yeah. Well, you know, I'm, when he gets to be 30, he gonna take all that back. Yeah, yeah. You and, already know. And so. I, I'm gonna ask my children that question. I, that, I, that, I haven't that's asked why, them that. That's why I said what makes it funny is the way they rate you and how they feel is not, it's a conversation a lot of I, kids I, don't have with their parents. But think about it, right? I'm glad when I was raising my children, social media didn't exist. Mm. Right? Now, they can tell the things we've done in our past mm -hmm. is ether. Yeah. It's not recorded. Yeah. We know and it's word of mouth. So imagine I ask all three of my children, how would you rate me? Well, I'll give you a seven. Yeah, just hypothetical. But and look, a reason. But look, and and look, they should have a but, reason. But look. And they hit YouTube. This was me back in such and such time, and I'm doing some sick stuff. Yeah. Then yeah. how would they view you? Because that's who they who they see who they see. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, but I'm, I'm gonna ask my children that question. And, and I would say. And like, the next time we have the and my my bad. Yeah, next time we get up or we'll we'll even send it through the text like yo I can't believe my son doing this like this is crazy. Well, let me let me just say I don't know your other son, but I know Kareem. Kareem is an excellent human being. Yes. Yeah, he's you know what I'm saying? Yes. He he is yes. an excellent human being. I love him. I love his whole life. Like, you could just tell that he's very attentive in what he's trying to do. He's creative. He's artistic. He's business-minded. Mm -hmm. He's good with his money. He's just an excellent child. You know what I'm saying? I, and I, and as a testament to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's kind of some cool shit to be able to say, like, say, that's yeah, my yeah, son yeah. right there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Because, like... I'd be like, damn, <laughs> yo, like, 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 anything you would want a guy to say, he raised his child right. That yeah, is, Kareem, yeah. it's, it's like what they say, if, if he raised his child right was a person, yeah. that's Kareem. Appreciate yeah, it, brother. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, the more I deal with him, the more love and respect I have for you, because I'm like, this is your son? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, you've heard my son at the community fathers meetings and things like that, like, yeah. you know, and I would say that. Going on your idea of your children being like you, I remember, man, when my son was just trying to figure out what he was trying to do or whatever. Because we're was, still figuring it out. Like, we don't have, I don't have everything figured out. We're still right, figuring right. stuff out. But I, I remember, like, there was a lot of people saying to me, what's wrong with him? Uh, when is he going to do this? When is he going to do that? I was like, let him go. And they was like, why? I said, that's my son. I know him. He's yeah, got me yeah, in him. Yeah. I said, there's going to be a time when it's going to switch that's going to flip off in his head. And he's going to be working so hard, you guys will eat every fucking thing you said. Mm. And guess what? My son just graduated from New York State Alarm License School. Yes, sir. Mm. Has a job. They're begging me for his resume at my job. Mm. And I just, I told him, leave him alone. Because um, he's, he's yeah. not running the streets. He's not in the gang. He's not selling drugs. He's not doing none of that shit. Let him be. Mm. Let him be. He's not bothering anybody. He's just trying to figure himself out. Somebody told me something similar, too. Like, being, you know, being at the way a lot of kids are raised, like, when, when you have no direction at all and the streets really raise your children it's like and especially if you're around like if you're walking the, if you're walking the same earth and you're, you're, you're somewhere close like I just think it's so crazy that some fathers just don't deal with their kids at all and then when we get and then when our kids get Tell killed it's it. like Tell you can't it. really fix nothing then you know what I'm saying you can't you can't say oh y'all wish my son was here uh, yo, that is, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, 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 it's crazy. I'll tell you a personal story. This this is near and dear to me. First, uh, I want to say kindergarten graduation. I'm still 10 toes down in the nation. All my children is in the nation. Um, I'll never forget that I had to take off for work that day. So I got there. You know, I didn't get there late, but I got there. All, all of my ex's family was there already. I showed up afterwards. It hadn't really started yet. So they're trotting the children out, right? My baby comes out, and I remember she starts looking around in the crowd. She's got this worried look on her face and shit. She's looking around, and then she sees me, 
And she goes, and that, yo, bro, you see how emotional I'm getting? Yeah. That shit scared the shit out of me. Because what if I wasn't there? What if I had bitched out and said, I got to work this day, I can't take the day off or whatever? She looked like she would have been devastated if I wasn't there. And you may say I'm overreacting because no, I was no. there. But it, it, it lets you understand right. how important you are. Because that, that look on her face was like, where's my dad? And as soon as she saw me, it's like her whole family, her whole mother's side of her family and her mother, they was there. And as soon as she saw me, everything was cool. And I don't understand how niggas could have daughters and not... Her. I mean, I, I can see if your baby moms is stopping you from yeah, talking yeah, to you or whatever. Yeah. But, but you got access and you don't deal with your child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... Who the hell's gonna be on your side like your daughter? Who gonna ride with you like your daughter? Who's going to, like, in some cases, a woman to be on your side, but your daughter is going to yeah. pull out a straight razor for you. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I could never understand how a dude could not be there for their children. I just could never understand it. Yeah, that, yeah. With, with my oldest, I remember when he was in elementary school. He was uh, living in Brooklyn with his mother. I was here. And he was acting up in school. His mother called me. I don't know what to do with him. I said, where is he? He's right here. Don't say that around. Don't worry about it. I got you. Yeah. I went down here the next day to his school.